Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona from Social Media How To's with Ramona. In today's video, I'm going to set up a Chat GPT Plus account. Now, for those of you that don't know, that is the paid version of Chat GPT. And if you'd like, you can create your Chat GPT Plus account at the very same time. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and log into your Chat GPT account. If you don't have an account, you're going to click on the sign up button. And if you need to, you can click on the link in the description for the video that I created called How to Create a Chat GPT Account. Next, you'll either need to put in your email address, continue with Google, a Microsoft account, or Apple. I'm going to go ahead and put my email address in. Go ahead and click continue after you've made that selection. Next, you'll enter your password and click continue. Once inside of the ChatGPT interface, go ahead and click on the tab that says GPT-4. ChatGPT-4 is available exclusively to Plus users, so go ahead and click on the upgrade to ChatGPT+. Next, you'll see what you get by upgrading your plan. So for the free version, it tells you that you have access to the GPT-3.5 model and regular model updates. And they say that it's for people who are just getting started with ChatGPT. And with the plus version, you get everything in the free version, plus access to GPT-4, our most capable model, faster response speed, access to beta features like browsing plugins and advanced data analysis. So let's go ahead and click on upgrade to plus. This will bring you to a ChatGPT plus subscription page. Over on the left, you'll see your total will be $20. As you can see, this is something I always like to check. The checkout is powered by Stripe, so have no fear. Stripe is a secure system. Over on the right, it's going to ask for your contact info. So you'll fill in your email address, your payment method, your name, the cardholder name, billing address, and then you'll see it says securely save my information for one-click checkout. Enter your phone number to create a link account and pay faster on OpenAI LLC and everywhere link is accepted. There you will fill in your phone number. And as you can see, it says that it's optional. So I'm not going to actually choose that method. I'm going to go ahead and enter my credit card information. When you're finished, you'll go ahead and click on this box that says you'll be charged the amount listed above every month until you cancel. We may change our prices as described in our terms of use, and you can cancel at any time. By subscribing, you agree to open AI's terms of use and privacy policy. So go ahead, fill in your information or select whichever one you're going to use, and then click on the subscribe button. After you filled in your payment information, you'll get a page that says payment successful. You've been upgraded to chat GPT plus. So go ahead and click continue. Once you've successfully submitted your payment, it will bring you back into the chat GPT interface. But now it will say chat GPT plus where it wants just a chat GPT. You will notice at the top, you still have those same two tabs, GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. So let's go ahead and click on GPT 4. And when you move your mouse over GPT 4, now you see, and you can go ahead and click on it as well. But now you see you have options. Default, you can browse with Bing, which I saw that they just announced that at their open AI conference and then Dolly 3, which is one of the main reasons why I'm actually signing up for the paid version because I want to test out Dolly 3. So I'll, let's go ahead and click on Dolly 3 and see what's in here. Now that you've selected Dolly 3, we're going to actually go ahead and ask Dolly to generate an image for us. So what I'm asking Dolly is to please create an image of two small dogs running happily down a street in a rural area. Once you've entered your prompt, go ahead and click on the send message button or click enter. 
And as you can see, Dolly 3 is creating the image. So it took around 30 seconds to generate this image. But as you can see, Dolly did a really good job of creating two small dogs running down a rural street. If after paying for ChatGPT+, Plus, your interface does not look like the interface that I showed you previously, take a look at this. Is this what you see? If this is what you see, let me just show you what the new interface looks like. So on the new ChatGPT interface, you notice that chat gpt 3.5 and 4.0 are no longer in the center of the screen and they've been moved over to the top left so what you would do is click on the drop down arrow to the right of chat gpt 3.5 and that's where you'll find gpt 4 which you just paid for gpt 3.5 and any plugins you may be looking for so when you click on chat GPT-4, it actually brings you back to the interface that says, how can I help you today? Or the playground, as some people like to call it, not my preference, but that's what they call it. So before I explain to you what's happening on the new interface, I'm going to go ahead and click on over on the left. You're going to see explore. You'll see things that you've used previously, and then you'll see an explore button. And then, of course, you'll see all of your prompts over on the left. So go ahead and click on explore. And here is where you're going to find where you can create any GPTs. If you haven't heard about those, you need to go check those out, like do a search on YouTube. There are a lot of people talking about them. I have not created any yet, but I have a few in mind. And then also it will show you things that you've recently used. As you can see, Dolly is one that I've just recently used. And then you'll see other GPTs that are created by OpenAI. So you'll see Dolly, you'll see Data Analysis, ChatGPT Classic, Game Time, The Negotiator, Creative Writing Coach, Cosmic Dream, Tech Support Advisor. And then the, you may see Load More. If you do, you can go ahead and click on Load More. And as you can see, there's also a Coloring Book Hero, Laundry Buddy, Sous Chef, Sticker Whiz, Math Mentor, Hot Mods, Mocktail Mixologist, and Gen Z for Meme. So these are all the GPTs. Again, if you don't know what they are, just go ahead and do a search on YouTube and you'll see a whole lot of people talking about them. It's like all the rage right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on chat GPT again in the upper left hand corner. All those GPTs that you just saw that were created by OpenAI, whenever you type a prompt now, you don't have to click to say, oh, I want to use Dali. So before we clicked at the top in the center and clicked on Dali, but you don't have to do that anymore because once you type a prompt, ChatGPT is actually going to choose which GPT to use. So for instance, if I say create an image of a man in a soup standing by a green and yellow tree, and I hit enter or submit, ChatGPT is then going to find the best GPT that I just showed you in the Explore tab to create this image. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and let's see what happens. So ChatGPT is creating the image. So now as you can see, it doesn't say which GPT created this image, but what I will do is put in a prompt and ask ChatGPT which GPT it used to create this image. And the response is the image was created using OpenAI's DALI, and then it explains what DALI is. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Once again, this is Ramona from Social Media How-Tos with Ramona. And with that, I want to say have an amazing day.